Ultra Hyper Mega Multi Alpha Beta Extra Uber Prefix Combo. Multi Classing. Multi Classing allows you to gain levels in multiple classes. Doing so lets you mix the abilities of those classes to realize a character concept that might not be reflected in one of the standard class options. With this rule you have the option of gaining a level in a new class whenever you advance in level, instead of gaining a level in your current class. Your levels in all your classes are added together to determine your character level. For example, if you have 3 levels in Wizard and 2 in Fighter, you're a 5th level character. As you advance in levels, you might primarily remain a member of your original class with just a few levels in another class, or you might change course entirely, never looking back at the class you left behind. You might even start progressing to a third or fourth class. Compared to a single class character of the same level, you'll sacrifice some focus in exchange for versatility. Prerequisites To qualify for a new class, you must meet the ability score prerequisites for both your current class and your new one, as shown in the multi-classing prerequisites table. For example, a barbarian who decides to multi-class into the druid class must have both strength and wisdom scores of 13 or higher. Without the full training that a beginning character receives, you must be a quick study in your new class, having a natural aptitude that is reflected by higher than average ability scores. Multi-classing prerequisites. Class, barbarian. Ability score minimum, strength 13. Bard, charisma 13. Cleric, wisdom 13. Druid, wisdom 13. Fighter, strength or dexterity 13. Monk, dexterity 13 and wisdom 13. Paladin, strength 13 and charisma 13. Ranger, dexterity 13 and wisdom 13. Rogue, dexterity 13. Sorcerer, Charisma 13. Warlock, Charisma 13. Wizard, Intelligence 13. Experience Points The experience cost point to gain a level is always based on your total character level, as shown in the character advancement table, not your level in a particular class. So, if you are a Cleric 6 slash Fighter 1, you must gain enough XP to reach 8th level before you can take your 2nd level as a Fighter or your 7th level as a Cleric. Hit points and hit dice. You gain the hit points from your new class as described for levels after first. You gain the first level hit points for a class only when you are a first level character. You add together the hit dice granted by all your classes to form your pool of hit dice. If the hit dice are of the same die type, you can simply pull them together. For example, both the fighter and the paladin have a d10. So, if you're a 5th level paladin and a 5th level fighter, you have 10d10 hit dice. If your classes give you hit dice of different types, keep track of them separately. If you're a Paladin 5, Cleric 5, for example, you have 5d10 hit dice and 5d8 hit dice. Proficiency bonus. Your proficiency bonus is always based on your total character level as shown in the character advancement table, not your level in a particular class. For example, if you're a Fighter 3, Rogue 2, you have the proficiency bonus of a 5th level character, which is plus 3. Proficiencies When you gain your first level in a class other than your initial class, you gain only some of the new class's starting proficiencies, as shown in the multi-classing proficiencies table. Multi-classing proficiencies Barbarian Shields, simple weapons, martial weapons Bard Light armor, one skill of your choice, one musical instrument of your choice. Cleric, light armor, medium armor, shields. Druid, light armor, medium armor, shields. Druids will not wear armor or use shields made of metal. Fighter, light armor, medium armor, shields, simple weapons, martial weapons. Monk, simple weapons, short swords. Paladin, Light armor, medium armor, shields, simple weapons, martial weapons. Ranger. Light armor, medium armor, shields, simple weapons, martial weapons, one skill from the class's skill list. Rogue. Light armor, one skill from the class's skill list, thieves tools. Sorcerer. None. Warlock. Light armor, simple weapons. Wizard. None. Class features. 
When you gain a new level in a class, you get its features for that level. You don't, however, receive the class's starting equipment, and a few features have additional rules when you're multi-classing. Channel Divinity, Extra Attack, Unarmored Defense, and Spellcasting. Channel Divinity If you already have the Channel Divinity feature, and gain a level in a class that also grants you that feature, you gain the Channel Divinity effects granted for that class, but getting the feature again doesn't give you an additional use of it. You gain additional uses only when you reach a class level that explicitly grants them to you. For example, if you're a Cleric 6, Paladin 4, you can use Channel Divinity twice between rests, because you're high enough level in the Cleric class to have more uses. Whenever you use the feature, you can choose any of the Channel Divinity effects available to you from your two classes. Extra Attack If you gain the Extra Attack class feature from more than one class, the features don't add together. You can't make more than two attacks with this feature unless it says you do, as the fighter's version of Extra Attack does. Similarly, the Warlock's Eldritch Invocation Thirsting Blade doesn't give you additional attacks if you have Extra Attack. Unarmored Defense If you already have the Unarmored Defense feature, you can't gain it again from another class. Spellcasting Your capacity for spellcasting depends partly on your combined levels in all your spellcasting classes, and partly on your individual levels in those classes. Once you have the spellcasting feature from more than one class, use the rules below. If you multi-class but have the spellcasting feature from only one class, you follow the rules as described in that class. Spells known and prepared You determine what spells you know and can prepare for each class individually, as if you were a single class member of that class. If you're a Ranger 4, Wizard 3, for example, you know three first level Ranger spells, based on your levels in the Ranger class. As a third level wizard, you know three wizard cantrips, and your spellbook contains ten wizard spells, two of which, the two you gained when you reached third level as a wizard, can be second level spells. If your intelligence is 16, you can prepare six wizard spells from your spellbook. Each spell you know and prepare is associated with one of your classes, and you use the spellcasting ability of that class when you cast the spell. Similarly, a spellcasting focus, such as Holy Symbol, can be used only for the spells from the class associated with that focus. Spell Slots You determine your available spell slots by adding together all your levels in the Bard, Cleric, Druid, Sorcerer and Wizard classes, and half your levels rounded down in the Paladin and Ranger classes. Use this total to determine your spell slots by consulting the Multiclass Spellcaster table. If you have more than one spellcasting class, this table might give you spell slots of a level that is higher than the spells you know or can prepare. You can use those slots, but only to cast your lower level spells. If a lower level spell that you cast, like Burning Hands, has an enhanced effect when cast using a higher level slot, you can use the enhanced effect, even though you don't have any spells of that higher level. For example, if you are the aforementioned Ranger 4 Wizard 3, you count as a 5th level character when determining your spell slots. You have 4 first level slots, 3 second level slots, and 2 third level slots. However, you don't know any third level spells, nor do you know any second level ranger spells. You can use the spell slots of those levels to cast the spells you do know, and potentially enhance their effects. Pact Magic if you have both the Spellcasting class feature and the Pact Magic class feature from the Warlock class, you can use the spell slots you gain from the Pact Magic feature to cast spells you know or have prepared from classes with the Spellcasting class feature, and you can use the spell slots you gain from the Spellcasting class feature to cast Warlock spells that you know. Multiclass Spellcaster Spell slots per spell level Level 1 Two first level spell slots Level 2 3 level 1 spell slots. Level 3, 4 level 1 and 2 level 2 spell slots. Level 4, 4 level 1 and 3 level 2 spell slots. Level 5, 4 level 1, 3 level 2 and 2 level 3 spell slots. Level 6, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3 spell slots. Level 7, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, and 1 level 4 spell slots. 8th level. 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, and 2 level 4 spell slots. Level 9. 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, and 1 level 5 spell slots. Level 10. 
four level one, three level two, three level three, three level four, and two level five spell slots. Level 11, four level one, three level two, three level three, three level four, two level five, one level six spell slots. Level 12, four level one, three level two, three level three, three level four, two level five, and one level six spell slots. Level 13, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6, and 1 level 7 spell slots. Level 14. 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6, and 1 level 7 spell slots. Level 15. 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6, 1 level 7, and 1 level 8 spell slots. Level 16. 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6, 1 level 7, and 1 level 8 spell slots. Level 17, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6, 1 level 7, 1 level 8, and 1 level 9 spell slots. 18th level, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 3 level 5, 1 level 6, 1 level 7, 1 level 8, and 1 level 9 spell slots. 19th level, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 3 level 5, 2 level 6, 1 level 7, 1 level 8, and 1 level 9 spell slots. Level 20, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 3 level 5, 2 level 6, 2 level 7, 1 level 8, and 1 level 9 spell slots.